Okay, this is what I called synth bass metal. Because first of all, I set out to just create a pretty simple synth bass. There's nothing particularly fascinating about that bass. Uh, my initial goal was to take a triangle wave on oscillator one, which is this part of it. If you don't know this already, because triangle waves are close to sine waves, um, they have relatively little harmonic content, which means when they're bassy, they're just a, a their fundamental is actually full on bass. It's not uh, mixed with a bunch of harmonics, which might sort of psychoacoustically remove the bass edge to it. It's just a full low end sound. And I like that. But that sort of sub bass sound can get lost in the mix really quickly because it lacks upper harmonic content and it just sort of fills in the low end and it doesn't really exist timbrely, which I think is kind of boring in synthesis. Um, so what I've done is I've added a sawtooth waveform on top of that triangle waveform at the same octave. They're both at the 16 foot. So you can hear, actually you can mostly hear the filter, but we'll get to that. Um, here's just the triangle. This is the triangle with the sawtooth wave in unison. So it gives it a little more, the, the triangle fills in the low end and the sawtooth sort of gives us more timbre to it that can be messed with, with the filter. And as you can hear, the filter is going to work. Uh, that's because I have the pedal on bus set to a triangle wave, going to the filter at a relatively slow rate on the LFO. Um, at about eight as far as amount is concerned, eight out of 10. So that's going to the filter. The filter is where it's at. I don't know the exact frequency, but the, the knob is two o'clock. Um, I have the spacing pretty wide to once again, get that sort of phasing effect that is cool. Uh, resonance isn't that high. Uh, there's no keyboard envelope going on. It's dual low pass. Um, the envelope's relatively unimportant. Um, it almost could be achieved just with sustain on its own because it's just on off. Basically there's a little bit of release on it, but not much anyway, where this thing gets cool because, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty straightforward bass sound. If you're looking for a straightforward bass sound, that's a way to do it. And it's cool because it has kind of the phasing filter going on. But what really made this sound for me was. I took the mod wheel and the source, I used oscillator three, which is at the 16 foot frequency um, that the other oscillators are at. But I have the pitch set up a fifth. Here, let's listen to three on its own. Here's what the other things are playing. So it makes a perfect fifth, basically, um, in the sense that when the other uh, oscillators are playing, when the other oscillators are playing a C, this one's playing a G. But I have oscillator three off because I'm using it as a modulation source. What I'm doing is I'm directing that frequency that oscillator three plays whenever we play a note to the waveform of the other two oscillators. Actually, it's all of the oscillators. But in any case, oscillator three is modulating the wave shape of oscillators one and two, a fifth above the note that they're playing in the audio range. This isn't slow modulation, this is audio range modulation. So what that means is we're gonna get a kind of crazy distorted sound. So as I turn up the mod wheel, you're gonna hear that that's what happened. We start off with this sort of clean, bassy sound. There isn't you know much grit to it, but listen what happens. Turns into this heavy, like metallic, grungy guitar power chord sort of thing. And the filter's really playing with that. But if we turn the filter down, 
it's like a power chord. It's basically playing a power chord by modulating the wave shapes of oscillators one and two with the audio range frequency that is one fifth above the frequency that these oscillators are playing, uh, affecting the wave shape, we suddenly get this distorted uh, guitar power chord sound. And of course, you can find places in between the two sounds just to kind of grunge up this bass sound without going all the way into metal. And then you can dive into metal.